Is this video of a Wagner mercenary recruiting at a Russian prison real? Now, just for some background, the Wagner Group is a Russian private military contractor, or you can call it a Russian mercenary group. They're active in Ukraine, Syria, and in Africa. This video came out last night. A couple of people on Twitter asked me about it. I took a look at the video. Here's my findings, and I'm going to go through this video step by step and explain. So to start, this is a recruiter from Wagner PMC. PMC stands for Private Military Company, and he is giving a safety briefing and recruiting lecture to these Russian prisoners. So the full video is going to be in the pinned comments and in the description below. I'm just going to go over some of the highlights of this video so you can see how I drew my conclusions and how I gathered my evidence here. So if we start at second 17, the recruiter compares the current war to Stalingrad. Now, Stalingrad has a very high level of brand awareness among Russia as a very brave act. So I believe this is an appeal to patriotism. At minute 021, he warns about desertion. Uh, then at minute 032, he talks about being given two grenades. I believe this means one grenade for the enemy and one grenade. So if you're captured, you go out like Vasquez and Gorman. Then at minute 038, he talks about the prohibition on alcohol and drugs. This is pretty common for the Army to ban or restrict drinking since it can cause disciplinary problems. The U.S. Army had General Order Number 1 in Iraq, and that prohibited the exact same thing. Then he talks about looting and sexual relations here at minute 047. And he says something interesting about relations. At minute 0, uh, 050, he talks about relations with local women, flora, fauna, men, anyone. So that's kind of the first clue to me that this video is real, because that's probably something I would say when I was giving a safety brief. So you can tell this guy was a soldier. Soldiers are soldiers the world around. At minute 0, 058, he goes over minimum and maximum ages. Then at minute 122, he goes over physical requirements. Then at 126, he mentions a date, the 1st of June. This is critical because it indicates that this is taking place after June of 2022. Then at minute 150, he mentions Article 228. This is another indicator that makes me think this is real. Article 228 of the Russian Criminal Code references drug offenses. Uh, so if this video was fake for the West, I doubt they would mention Article 228 because it doesn't mean anything to someone who doesn't know Russian law. Now, what's interesting is up here in the left-hand corner is this text, and I believe it says, Vivere Zhihen, which means choose life. This was the theme of the book Train Spotting by Irving Welsh. And uh, this was a book about heroin addicts in Scotland. So it would make sense why that text would be there. Although I find that text a little ironic considering what Wagner is asking them to do. Now here at 340, the recruiter talks about amnesty. After six months, you can go home or you can stay with Wagner. No more prison. And then some interesting things happen. The camera pans over to the right and we get a good look at the uniforms of the prisoners, this green building and this red and white smokestack. This is going to be critical to geolocating this place. Okay, so the uniforms seem to match standard Russian prison uniforms. And if you notice, they're all wearing jackets, but they're not really wearing heavy hats. So when would you wear a jacket like that? You'd probably wear it when it's cold, but not too cold. Like these guys don't seem like they're that cold. So I'm taking a guess that it's probably around 50 degrees Fahrenheit where they are. Or I think that's like 10 degrees Celsius. So I looked at average temperatures across Russia in September until I found prisons that match the correct criteria. And that led me to this place here, a little town called Yashkarola, which is uh, 388 miles or 625 kilometers east of Moscow. Now Yashkarola has quite a few prisons, but it's this one here that I want to focus on. Prison number six. Okay, if we zoom in on prison number six, what do we see? We see a green building that kind of looks like the building that we saw when that camera panned right. And we also see a smokestack to the right of that green building. Now, if you take a look at this green awning over here, this matches the green awning that you see in the beginning of the video. I can say with absolute confidence that this video was taken at prison number six in Yashkarola, Russia, in this courtyard right here with the camera facing southeast. I can say with some confidence that this video was filmed sometime in September. So yes, this video is recent and Russia is recruiting from prisons.